let's find out what's in this one, shall we? My name is Cody, and welcome to the February 2019 um, uh, Retro Game Treasure um, box Unboxing. I will come up with a more proper name eventually, I promise. We're, I'm, can we just call it Retro Box? Like, we know it's RetroGameTreasure.com, but it's, it's kind of like saying Nerd Block Loot Crate. Indie box, which I really want to get back in the indie box. Oh my god, I want to get back in the indie box. Anyway, let's find out what's in this one. Uh, we're just going to do this in one shot because I don't have all that much time because my daughter has come and I'm soaking wet and I'd like to be dry. <laughs> so we're using tweezers today. I'm really hoping for some goodness because last month we got some pretty good stuff out of this and my daughter really likes these boxes, by the way. So, you know. Good job, Retro Game Treasure. All right, come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, Star Wars: The Clone Wars. All right. I don't think I could try it. Oh, and it's got Tetris Worlds too. Now that's cool. All right, JC and I have something to bitch and moan about. I think. So this is weird. It's actually got Tetris Worlds and Clone Wars attached to the same disc. It was made by THQ. It has the manual. It's got the manual. And we've got... Wow. Disc is almost perfect. That's cool. That's good. Alright. We'll move that over here with uh, Brute Force. I believe. Yeah, that's cool. So we got Brute Force, we got the Shadows of the Empire over here, and we've also got the other game. We've got uh, Towers right here as well, so this pile right here will be the Doom of Fledger that we need. Alright, so we got Supercar Street Challenge. I actually remember playing this game on PS2, it was a lot of fun. Um, I have it around here somewhere actually, a copy of this, so that's cool. Uh, alas, it does not have the instruction manual, but I'm pretty sure I have this game somewhere in my house. But it's an early PS2 game, as you can see. It's got the blue disc to it, which, that's cool. Meaning this game came out in 2001. There was a lot of fun to have in this. Uh, there have been games since that have come out that are better, naturally, you know, through the progression of time. But it's all well and good. Oh, oh. So, I got four games. That's cool. So, we got Rayman right there. JC, check it out, bro. We got Rayman for the Game Boy. I think this is... Yeah, this is Game Boy Color. Okay, cool. So, we got a copy of Rayman. I've got Rayman 2 in my drawer right here for um, N64. It, and I've been collecting the colored cartridges. So, you know, I've got most of them. So, that's cool. So, we got Rayman. That's a good one. And then we've actually got one I've never actually heard of, but it is a late PS1 title. Cool. Um, it's a sequel game. Far out. Nice. So it's called Blaster Master Blasting Again. I've never heard of this series, but let's see. It's got vibration, analog control, uh, which you would expect. Um, Immortal Legend is blasting back resurrected to 3D action, bonanza, and PlayStation game console. And guess what? It's even better than ever. La, 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 la. It's made by Crave. Okay, so the same people that made Gex made this. Okay, it's a uh, rated E for everyone. So, not bad, not bad. And it's complete. It's actually complete. I don't know if it came with anything other than this, but um, that looks really good. Oh man, disc is almost immaculate for a PS1 game. That's really good. That's really good. Um, 
I'm hoping, like, I didn't get an N64 game this time, but, um, I'm not mad about that at all, like, I have ways to play all of these games, but the fact that I got this, I mean, the jewel case has got some damage to it, it's got a little, uh, crack right there, but I could very easily just buy a jewel case, slap that in there, and, uh, it'd be perfectly fine, like, the booklet looks great, from what I can tell, like, I haven't popped it out proper to look, but... I can imagine that if the game disc is that good, that, oh, dude, the booklet looks like it's never been used. That's really good. Sweet. All right, so, that is a stupidly quick unboxing of this month's Retro Game Treasure Dot com box also now known as retro box because I'm going to call it retro box um, I will I will continue calling it its proper name but I will refer to it in all of my videos in the future as a retro box as well so interchangeable anyway guys that does it for this month if you like it hit the like button if you dislike it hit the dislike button be sure to comment down below let's get a conversation rolling share with your friends hit the little the little bell when you subscribe if you have subscribed if you haven't you probably should because you know these videos i do try to get them out on a timely basis but you know there's a huge backlog and i really need to clean my hard drive anyway guys you guys have a good Hey y'all, thanks for checking out this video. As I mentioned before, hit that like button, share button, subscribe button, all those kind of things. Ring that bell until it uh, falls off the freaking rafters. And uh, by the way, we do have a SE server up and going now. I've been talking with the people running the server um, in what ways we need to get it going. We've had a few hiccups here and there, but I'm really excited to get people on board on that. Um, I'm working on something on the server right now, and for anybody that's wondering where the rest of the Steam ship, uh, or not, the stream ship is, it's coming. It's a work of progress. But you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening, and we will see you next time.